All right, so this video, we're going to uh, be attending the West Virginia Jeep Club's annual Jeep Fest event. And uh, we're supposed to be leaving in about two hours, where they're holding it at an off-road park about an hour away from the house. And <clears throat> I'm taking the CJ5 with no top on it. It's 30 degrees this morning. But the issue is... I had uh, pre-registered for the event with the CJ5 because some friends of mine had intended going and uh, we were going to off-road some, but today I think another buddy of mine is going to go and we're just going to go to the car show. So if I would have registered the J10, I probably would have just took it. But to do that, we have to put the fuel tank, hook the fuel tank back up on this J20, put the dump bed back down clean the garage up enough so we can get that other jeep out of there because it hasn't been driven in a month so stay tuned and hopefully i'll show you i'll show you some of the event it's it's a fun time uh i went year before last and and won a trophy for best jeep truck Fuel tanks just stabbed together right there real quick. And the wires are up out of the way. I gotta put some air in this tire over here that leaks and then we should be good to fire this thing up. <clears throat> this thing's been sitting for about a month. So. Got a question for you on that J20 for you peoples. Wow, that's really overexposed and light. <clears throat> Cold outside. That thing does not like to go into reverse until it uh, warms up just about a minute. I don't quite understand it. I'm wondering, I'm not real familiar with them GM transmissions, but wouldn't, it could be like the vacuum modulator or something goes into drive great goes into reverse great when it's warm outside but anyway um this thing 
Uh, been driving it some this summer. Been keeping it started since it's been sitting here for about a month. Not too really worried about much of nothing. Just gonna check the oil in it. It's dark, but it should be fine. Uh, for today's trip, and uh, I know the battery's good. <clears throat> I'm gonna take a, a small bag of tools with us. Let's check this antifreeze here. Yeah, we're fine there. We'll still throw the jug in with us just in case. Steering fluid cold. It's good. I greased it before I started driving it this summer, so we should be fine with this one. I'm going to get a small bag of tools together and we'll uh, pull this thing out and let it be warming up a little bit. as a respiratory illness in children is overloading hospitals across the nation. CBS is yeah, here's some of the vendors that showed up at West Virginia Jeep Fest. Trail Forged, uh, people selling shirts and such. Mission 22, it's a great organization. Buy some stickers. They do good things. Got some food, normal carnival stuff, so I'll show you some more. Plenty of Jeeps. Just a beautiful day out. We got uh, you got Metacloak set up down here too. But it's a nice overview overview of the uh, the ranch. Most of the off road parks back down over this hill. Here's what we got in the show and shine. Two full-size Jeeps. This is a 
Grand Wagoneer here. And, uh, my buddy's Cherokee. So, good turnout. Good thing. Most of the four wheelings tomorrow. I'll just come for today. So, I brought my CJ5. So. Did pretty good on the trip too. New carburetor made a world of difference. Um, yeah, well, I was happy with it. About 80 miles here total. Did a little bit of double running. It was cold this morning. It was like 30 degrees. So uh, we'll see what the awards look like for the uh, show and shine, and then we'll uh, head on back towards the house for today. Well, we made it home. Jeep Fest was fun. Been nice to have uh, done a little bit of four wheeling, but uh, just wanted to do the car show this time. Haven't had this thing out much. Didn't want to drive it all the way up there and break it. And not be able to get home and didn't really want to take the time to trailer it. But uh, the car show was great. There was tons of participation. Vendors were awesome. It's a good thing. The good Evening Ranch is a nice place. It's the first time I've ever been there. Definitely look into it if you want to come to West Virginia and go four-wheeling, that's for sure. So, I'm sure there will be plenty of content on the four-wheeling side out there, but had a good day. 151 miles round trip, not a single issue. Carburetor is running a little bit fat, need to tweak with that some, but she was cold this morning. Beautiful ride on the way home. Had wearing three layers on the way up. And rode home in a short sleeve shirt beautiful fall day so y'all have a good one